Well, this is nice. Well, that, uh... That jumped a gun, didn't it? Literally. Jack Frost. interesting. It's got me, like, invested. I actually want to know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, that's a hell of an intro. I will give it that. Is it just... Okay, okay, good. I was about to say, like, did the game freeze or something? Uh, <laughs> that would have been, uh, weird. Um, hi, though. Uh, this is the Art Social. Today, I'm gonna be spending about an hour or so playing Soul Hackers 2. Now, no, this is not going to be a full playthrough. At least, this is not going to be a full recorded or live stream playthrough. This is mainly just going to be my first impression. And then later on down the line, I'm just going to be playing on my own time and whatnot. And more or less just uh, pretty much like uh, I'm just going to see what this game has to offer. Now, do I know anything about Soul Hackers or Soul Hackers 2? Absolutely fucking not. I never heard of this series until the sequel got announced. But what I do know at the very least in terms of it is that uh, it's made by Atlas and from what I hear, a lot of people are saying this is supposed to be like a Persona ripoff. Some people have, there are some people in a minority are saying that this is not like Persona. I, I don't know exactly what. I've avoided spoilers and I, I've made a lot of the criticism I've heard has mainly just been hearsay. It's on the same level of people saying SMT is Persona 5 without the heart. So I don't know exactly how good or bad this game is. And so I want to make this clear. Through this uh, playthrough in this entire video, I'm going to be judging this game on its own merits. This is what I like to do for any title that I come across that isn't uh, the, in the same ballpark as other things, or it's just, it's made by different people. So, I'm going to be judging Soul Hackers 2 on Soul Hackers 2's merit alone. I'm not going to be comparing this to Persona. I'm not going to be comparing this to Shin Megami Tensei. I'm not going to be comparing this to any other JRPG or any other game in the past. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to be comparing this to any other games. I'm just going to be try and... Try and play this as Soul Hackers 2 and judge it based on itself. Now, I might bring up certain points that seem like, Oh, this seems similar to what this other game does. But it's mainly a point of reference. It's not a point of comparison, simply a point of reference. Alright? So, this is just my first majorly blind impression going through the entire... Uh, well, not the entire game, but going through the majority of the game with an hour or so. That's my aim. 
and more or less just seeing what uh what this game has to offer and what this game is like and if i actually want to continue playing it one of my friends uh kagado many of you know him as kagado the final boss he is currently playing through the game and from the sounds of it he's actually really liking it i've been avoiding watching his let's play because i've been meaning to check out this game myself i told him about this and he says i hope you enjoy it so that's hopefully that's some positive uh that's positive news towards my experience so i don't know what this game is gonna hold so i'm just gonna uh without further ado let's get into it adjust and rebalance okay okay ability to teleport directly to shots from the same map oh that i guess that wasn't in base version okay add the ability to move to the same map from the safe house. okay uh rebalance chances of me new demons huh well i don't know maybe uh this would have been a different experience if i had gotten this on launch day just gotten it at a base because this is a 102 i don't know anyway download a book oh yeah that's right i uh i for because it's on sale i got the uh deluxe edition for some reason like the base game just the base game itself is like still i think 60 or 50 bucks or whatever deluxe edition is on sale but premium edition is like 80 bucks i don't know why but with this, I also get um, a number of DLC, uh, some stuff like the DLC chapter. I don't have any like costumes or anything, but that's it. I'm guessing this is sort of like, I guess in terms of reference, this is kind of the first one I'm going to make. I guess in terms of continue, this is going to be like uh, Devil May Cry, where uh, if you die a certain, where uh, if you die you can use like gold orbs in that game to continue like your progress and whatnot um and then this is uh no continues so either you start over from like the checkpoint or you start over from the last save point or whatever i want to i'm interested to see what this is like so yeah let's try it with this this is a work of fiction names characters places and either products of the author's imaginations are used fictitiously the crimes, beliefs, and injustice of the story are not intended to malign any existing truth or faith group or ideology, nor the reflects the views of the creators. So basically, it's fucking fiction. If anything happens, don't fucking blame them. It is the middle of the 21st century, technological progresses have plateaued, and the lives of society and humanity are now defined by soul stagnation. Yet from the abstracted, data-rich sea of the Earth's information, new life had evolved. Okay. Hopefully I'm coming in uh, clear and whatnot. Maybe if I turn it down a little? I don't know. I'm just hoping I'm coming in clear and whatnot. I've had some audio issues. But anyway. It's the, anonymi it's the anonymity icon from Assassin's Creed. Ma'am, I'm sorry, you have to go. This is a Wendy's and you're past closing time. Ion is a conscious consensus, born from the sea of information, without beginning or end. Though aeons pass, Ion is eternal. Ion denies all forms of boundaries that define the individual self. Contradiction identified. You have addressed me as Ringo, requesting immediate correction. I am Flamma. I was created so that the will of Ion can be put into words. Words will be a contextually vital tool for your objective. The objective of Ion is evolution. Individual existence indicates extreme retrogression. Finite physical manifestation classified under the above category. Requesting explanation regarding the necessity of a corporeal form. Our causal calculations have identified an imminent sequence of events. Ion has determined that these events represent a catastrophic threat to the future of humanity. Our role as a neutral observer is temporarily being suspended. 
Direct intervention is required to identify and intercept the cause of this threat. Therefore, a material form is required for material intervention. I understand and accept Ringo as the optimal form to exit observation. As Ringo, I request that Flamma provide the calculated causal evidence to prove necessity. Open your eyes, and I will show you a vision. Can you do so? Why is this floor full of Kool-Aid? Damn, the Kool-Aid man, uh... Damn, the Kool-Aid man just, uh... Went downhill for after a certain time, didn't he? One hell of a staring contest, wasn't it? Good morning, Ringo. Morning, Fig. So, you got born into this mess too, huh? How are you feeling? Like the world was just created five minutes ago. It's funny, I kind of had uh, some more, some more thought about this game as if I just started it five minutes ago. It hasn't been that long. If we assume this world was created at the precise moment we attained sentience, that would be 12 seconds ago to be exact. Your individual personalities appear to be functioning as intended. Hey, Flamma? Who are we exactly? You are constructs. Your purpose is to protect the world of humanity. More specifically, you are temporary and limited manifestations of Ion. The situation will require versatility in approach and judgment. Therefore, you have been created with personalities designed to differ from each other. So, what I got from that is basically, this girl has DID. Why? What the freak is wrong with you? I know! I mean, I'm not doubting Ion's grasp of cybernetics. These bodies seem state-of-the-art and even organic-ish. But I thought Ion had a policy against taking physical form. And giving us our own senses of self? I think that's a pretty obvious downgrade considering. <laughs> I think. Listen to me. If they created us, then they're resorting to drastic measures. I take it we're dealing with a crisis? The world of humanity is coming to an end. I take it that's the point of the vision you showed me. Very soon, the deaths of those two humans will set apocalyptic events into motion. So that's our mission, then. Directly into thus averting oh. the apocalypse. My my biggest look. Precisely. So that's our mission then. Directly intervene in the human world and prevent their deaths. There we go. Aeon's reason for existence is to acquire information and evolve. To that end, we must ensure the world is protected. Okay, so who are these guys exactly? One is Ichiro Honda, a renowned computer engineer and a luminary in his field. The other is a devil summoner named Arrow. Sorry, devil summoner? The necessary information has already been provided to both of you, as well as abilities suited to your mission. And this is a... Huh. I see. So, this is what Devil Summoners used to fight. Minecraft? Are we to assume this mission will involve combat? 
Correct. Your new bodies have been adjusted for this eventuality. However, if your forms are damaged beyond our estimations... One of these days is like... A JRPG is going to give characters like weapons. And they're ba basically like, oh, wait, so I guess we're going to have to go into combat. And <laughs> the person who's stressing them is like, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just like get people fucking excited on the idea of combat in a JRPG and then absolutely blue ball them. Then we could wind up dead, as much as any human would. Correct. You are accordingly advised to exercise caution in your investigation. Sheesh. Okay, fine. I call the devil summoner. Vic, you take the engineer. Understood. Designating Ichiro Onda as Target Alpha, and Arrow as Target Beta. Mission status initialized. So do I get to, I wonder, do I get to pick, like, uh, which character I take, or am I just stuck with Ringo? I'm fine either way, but... That coat, though. Well, this will be Ion's first contact with the human world. Let's make sure we do this right. I mean, if you gotta do your job right, you gotta do it with Drith. Like, that's... I think that's fucking non-negotiable. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, fucking... What if that's her power, just creating all these different fucking outfits? <laughs> Arrow's the devil summoner, while Ringo's the drip summoner. <laughs> oh my god. East Shopping District. Check. One, two. Ringo here. Currently en route to positional coordinates for Target Beta. What's the situation on your end, Fig? I was too late. Target Alpha, Dr. Ichiro Onda, has already been killed. Okay, wow. Now 30 minutes in into this playthrough and already we have a body count. The murderers purged local surveillance footage, too. But I did find a final message on the doctor's personal device. It was scrambled with an advanced level of quantum cryptography, though. Beyond any human technology's capacity to decipher. Almost sounds like it was meant for us instead. So what's the message behind all that encryption? Covenant. That's all. Covenant. An infrequently used synonym for contract. Though there's likely a deeper meaning here escaping me. Possibly another code. I'll keep analyzing. First thing I thought of immediately when I heard Covenant was just Halo. Which, uh... Honestly, I would be down for. Sounds good. Seriously, though? Couldn't Plama have given us a drone or something? This body is so inconvenient. My surveillance range is tiny with just these two viewports. Our interference in the human world must be concealed by any means possible. Ion's mandate for this mission is maximum secrecy. It's safe to assume we won't be receiving any reinforcements, drone or otherwise. But your point is made. I'll look into alternatives. Yeah, sure. Maximum secrecy. But now they've made two humanoid platforms and they're even calling for direct intervention. I assumed Ion's whole thing was always being an observer and nothing else. So this must must be way beyond. <laughs> Rico? Sorry. Just started raining over here. Wow. Crazy. I can feel my skin reacting to this. It's all weird and shivery. An understandable reaction, considering we've never experienced it before. You'll just have to get used to it. Yeah, great. Like how we have to get used to being stuffed into these bodies. 
I'm like a factory made sausage. Why bother with these human imitations? They're not exactly optimal. Our computing's just down across the board. Is this really gonna help us somehow? Ion's findings suggest that these bodies would be most appropriate for the mission. It strikes me as a form of backwards compatibility for the task at hand. Backwards compatibility I can deal with. I'd just rather not feel like a supercomputer stuck inside a grandfather clock. If you have complaints, please direct them to Flamma. You're not the only one struggling to adapt. Fine. Guess I won't get anything done by whining. As long as I'm stuck in this Qualia prison, I might as well have some fun with it. We're not here for fun, Ringo. How about we cut the comms for now? I gotta focus if I want to get used to this body. Understood. There are hostile demons and devil summoners in the area, so be careful. I'm on my way as well. Demons. Supernatural entities of myth and legend. Their existence has been tied to mankind's for ages, but even Ion doesn't know too much about them. And devil summoners? Let's see... Would be the humans who make contracts with these demons using their demonic partner's powers as their own. So it looks like I've got a comp and a demon summoning program. This is all I need to fight back, huh? Seems simple enough. That was tradition, the uh, first, the first, uh, Particular particular demon you can summon is a pixie. It's not just in Persona. I think also SMT also does that as well. <laughs> yeah, I think it's right to call it an Atlas tradition at this point. All right, let's get this show on the road. You know, I considered uh, doing this with uh, my avatar just on the map. On there, but uh, it is trying to get in the way of uh, searches and everything. But I don't know. I just don't want to play with it, but I do like that I can move the map. That it's not a uh, particularly on one part of me. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Okay. So touchpad. That incorporates dash. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Don't tell me. Yo, holy shit, he dead! soul left in there, I should be able to gather him up and put his psyche back together. So wait, she and by extension, like, the, the domain that she resides in have figured out how to resurrect people. Neat. But there's so much we don't know about soul hacking, and it's not meant for bringing people back from the dead. There's a reason we have so many limiters on that function, Ringo. Okay, so in theory, it's something that is off limits for Viving the Dead, or it's not equipped to do it. But for the sake of the story, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that it works. If we don't do this right now, then we can say goodbye to whatever leads we might have had. The entire world's at stake here. <sighs> hey, it's nice to know that you care, though. Especially seeing as we were just born. It's kind of weird, actually. Soul hacking will leave you completely exposed to the enemy. Can you at least wait until I'm there? 
Well, there's no telling how much a human soul will change once its body's up and gone. All we know is, the sooner we do this, the better. Understood. Just know that if you get lost in his memories, you won't be coming back. Do you understand me, Ringo? You are irreplaceable. I need you to remember that. Thanks, Faith. But don't worry. I'll make sure both of us get through this mess. For now, I better get started. I'll just decide. I'm honestly uh, somewhat intrigued as to where this is going. I don't know where it is going yet, but invoking emergency I'm somewhat override. Self-regulation suspended. Self-check process suspended. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Well, this is interesting. Systems are go. Agent now sampling the target soul's wave signatures. Complete. Soul sync. Complete. This soul of yours, Arrow. Oh, this is, uh, trippy. <laughs> More. I have to go deeper. That's what she said. Literally. This... this must be a memory. Well, this is the only world we've got. No point wasting all our time moping about it, or turning into jerks. Yep, you're licensed. Now you're officially an agent of Yadagarasi. Congratulations, Arrow. I know how hard you've worked to reach this point. Okay, I'm starting to see the picture. So that kid he was childhood friends with, uh, grew up, I guess he got into, I guess he was a part of something, I don't know, maybe a mob or something. Uh, 
Arrow had to stop him, more or less kind of sneak into his organization so or whatever. Uh, he was found was out. Who was wrong? I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. Something like that. Okay. This is my soul. And what are you doing here? I'm God, here to give you a chance at Isekai. Oh, so you're aware, huh? Did you know you're dead, too? I did. <laughs> Didn't exactly go out peacefully, did you? Look, if you just leave me alone, I'd like to spend my final moments in peace. So you're just gonna drown yourself in regret? How do you know about that? Well, I only know bits and pieces. I saw some stuff on my way down. So, just what is it that you regret so badly? Who... Who are you? And why are you inside me like this? My name's Ringo. I'm an agent of Ion. An agent of... Ion? Ion is an eternal, unchanging, ultra-intelligent observer of the times born from the farthest reaches of technology. And the situation dictates that I have to look like a person right now because, you know, reasons. Wait, so... you're not human? This has got to be a joke, right? Singularities typically occur outside of the public eye, but here's one right now, standing in front of you. Right. So why are you here? I'm here to bring you back. You're gonna help me prevent the end of the world. The end of the world? Very soon, your soul will disappear. And your chance at coming back will go with it. If we don't act now, the world's as good as gone. So, come on, Arrow. You gonna help me stop this or not? Think of this as a second chance. A chance to get it right. I... I can't let it end here. At the very least, in terms of the story, I'm actually invested. I can say that for certain. I am definitely interested to see... Ah, oh, look at that. I got a trophy. I am definitely interested to see more in the sense of what the <laughs> gameplay is like. Welcome back. <sighs> Hello? You good in there? Soul back where it should be? You're... Ringo. You're... an agent of Ion. There we go. Glad that actually worked. Did all of that really happen? It wasn't a dream, was it? Nope, that definitely wasn't a dream. You got shot in the head, I used my fancy ion superpowers, and then you came back. Yeah, I'm just gonna be covering up Ringo now. Should have done from the beginning. Even my wounds are all closed up. Did Ion's power do that too? That's more like a side effect. With the soul restored, the body heals by reflex. Like a macro level juiced up homeostasis, which organic cells already do. A soul hack can draw out all kinds of weird spiritual contingency effects, and that's one of them. That said, it's a pretty drastic measure. Can't just bust it out whenever I feel like it. I think I get it. Whoa. You bought it that easily? You're not even a little suspicious? Wait, so it wasn't real? Was it just an illusion or something? A, a demon spell? Oh no, it's still totally real. Oh, of course. I mean, it felt pretty real. So, I died and now I'm back. Kind of get used to weird things in my line of work. But coming back from the dead is definitely a first. I didn't even know that was possible. You ought to get out more. I guess I have you to thank for this. So, uh... Thanks, Ringo. As you progress through the story, you may notice occasional increases in something called the soul level. Its purpose may be unclear now, but you'll learn the truth in time. 
I imagine it's to establish, like, a closer connection with Ringo or whatnot. Yeah, sure. Anytime. Okay, I'd better move. I need to get back to my mission. Whoa, whoa, hey, Arrow? Mind if I tag along on that mission of yours? I get the feeling you and I might be on the same side. You know how to fight? Of course I do. Wouldn't be bragging about saving the world if I couldn't. Well, sure. Just like that again. No questions asked, huh? Don't have time for questions. Besides, after what happened back there, I guess I just know I can trust you with how bad this mission's gone. I'm not in a position to turn down help anyway. So I'll follow my instincts. Doesn't matter if you're a robot. Robot's kind of reductive. Well, Ringo, whatever you are, I'm glad you're on my side. For the record, I'm Arrow, a devil summoner with Yatagarasu. Yatagarasu, huh? A supranationalist group based in Japan. They work behind the scenes to protect civilians from supernatural threats. Most of our operatives are devil summoners, like me. We summon and command demons to help us fight. That's why I was here. Yatagarasu had me on a mission to protect a woman named Milady. Which you totally botched and got your skull ventilated. Say no more. So now we just look around this area for Milady? Yeah, that's the idea. Come on, this way. Okay. Okay, Fake. Mr. Beta's secure and back on his feet. For now, I'll be working with him to rendezvous with a human named Milady. Noted. I'm glad to hear it. I'm on my way. Well, at least we're not on the fast track to the apocalypse now. Hopefully. Awesome. All right. I'm guessing this is where the gameplay comes into play. What the arrow? But Kabaragi killed you. Did we get bad intel? Damn it. Who's this? Friend of yours? He's a devil summoner from the Phantom Society. They're after Milady. Oh, so a bad guy. Damn traitor. I'll have to put you down myself. Hey, you ever fought a summoner before? No. Nope. Then you'd better stay back. Don't worry. I catch on fast. Just watch my back. Hey, tough guy. All right. Is that... Demon summoning program. Booting up. That was cool, I'm not gonna lie. Weapons free. Oh, that transition, too. No more screw ups. This time you're gonna stay dead. <laughs> okay. battle. Come on, Arrow. What? Damn it! Hey, what's the problem? I can't summon my demons. What's going on? <laughs> can't squirm out of this one, pal! Looks like Arrow's demon control privileges got transferred to my con. I get it. Probably a side effect of the soul hack. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of figuring this out on the fly, but I optimized your summoning program. You what? I'll show you how it's done. All right. As soon as party turn, the battle manual will be displayed. Zeo and target the board Okay. We're fighting for our own. Let's roll. Remember, they might counterattack. <laughs> nice. How is that? No way. Did you use a demon's power to attack? You can do it too, you know. Give it a try. Uh, okay. I'll just try to copy what you did. Counts real by Ringo and her party have been enhanced by the Ion tech, which you can equip to use demons. Equip demons to them. By spending MP, allies can use the skills of any demons that to the top. It's the Pharaoh choose. Yeah, so basic RPGs. So, uh, basic garbage you run down. Might as 
I hope this works. I won't stop. Might as well test it. Silent as snowfall. Worked. Nice. It's out! Oh, yeah! Sabbath time! What? What's a Sabbath? It's super fun! It's super strong! It's a lot of everything! What the hell's going on? Just sit back and enjoy the show. Too late for regrets now. When you strike an enemy's weakness, your demons will be summoned to stand by for a concerted, concerted attack. These stored attacks are turned stacks. Okay, so, yeah, a number of RPGs do this, where it's like, if you, if you, uh, get a, if you get a specific attacks down right in a battle, they incorporate a spe special, uh, special attack that's stronger than the others. Once all allies have acted and their demons have formed a stack, Ringo will order them to form the Sabbath. A united assault by all demons in the stack. The greater the stack, the more power the Sabbath, so target enemy weakness is going to require more. Yep! That was I got you, I got you. That's insane. I didn't even know my demons could do that. So he carries Poltergeist and I carry Pixie. Hmm. Ringo? I can't help but wonder about that demon summoning just now. I think the reason you weren't able to summon anything on your own is because of the soul hack. Huh? Simply put, your soul was altered. And it looks like a piece of each of our souls were more or less welded together. It may be because of a difference in our ability, but no matter which way you look at it, I've got control over your demons now. And there's nothing you can do about that? Not at the moment, no. There's a lot about soul hacking even I don't understand. For the time being, you'll just have to settle for some ion-enhanced summoning. It works, though, doesn't it? That's true. And on top of that, we'll be able to use more powerful techniques like Sabbaths. The pluses do seem to outweigh the minuses here. Guess I'll just have to get used to it. Looks like you're stuck with me till the end. I've got to ask, though. Why'd that guy call you a traitor earlier? I was on a mission for Yadagarasu, and I wound up going undercover within the Phantom Society. They had no idea I was a double agent. Yeah, sort of called it. But I had to protect Melody. So just like that, my cover was blown. The Phantom Society. That summoner we just beat was one of theirs? Yeah, and they're Yadagarasu's sworn enemy. The Phantom Society is a secret organization of devil summoners. Just like Yadagarasu. Where we differ, however, is our intentions. They want one thing. To see this world destroyed. You mean... Exactly. The end of the world you were talking about is almost definitely linked to the Phantom Society. I just do a quick look into this. Uh, ah, here we go. Yadagrasu is a messenger of the god Kuamo. So basically, uh, to Japanese mythology, Yadagrasu is to the god Kuamo, as is, I believe, the Metatron is to... Uh... If I recall, Christianity's God? Because I think the Metatron is, if I recall, the voice of God as well. So, yeah. Okay. Things are starting to come together here in a pretty big way. Safe to say, we can count Ion's appearance as part of all that. Sounds like we better hurry then. Okay. Enemy up ahead. On the field, Ringo can slash out enemies by pressing square. Entering battle with an enemy down, then this way can give you the advantage of battle that side. Okay. So, I get the upper hand on this one. Now you can use skills, or demon stats. Also in this game, demons can be equipped to your party's comps, depending on the demonic abilities you have equipped. Your party's stats and available skills will change, so I'll switch them up when to try new strategies. Okay, I got you. See what happens when he has his back turned. Or uh, never mind. Huh. 
I can't tell if I missed or not, but whatever. Okay. I'll get serious. That might be dangerous. No way to tell. That's one way to go about it, but so. Ah, so it is weak today. Great job, Ringo. With this Ooh, power, that'll work. we can target them right away. Arrow. Arrow. Too late for regrets now. I can get used to this, honestly. Look, mess. Now I'm even cuter. Look, look. Yay! I didn't know I had this kind of power. Sometimes I even impress myself. Great, right? Yeah, I could get used to this type of combat, honestly. Can I do something about the? Okay, that's better. And um, camera was a little too close. Hey, Ringo. Be a bit of a waste to use demons solely for fighting, you know? Oh. You mean they can be used for other things? Yeah. Recon. You can send them out to scout our surroundings. And if we get into a fight, you can just call them right back. Oh. Then how about we give it a try? Okay, I kind of like this. Leaving this to you. I know it. When you first set foot into a dungeon, your demons will perform demon recon. Your scout demons can be found around the map, and they might introduce you to other demons they've met, or hand over any items they've found in their exploration. Sometimes your demons might make discoveries connected to the stories or requests, so make sure to talk to them if you see them around. Cool. I like that. <laughs> pretty girls look good in red, or even prettier in blood. Oh, miss? I'll give you this. Promise you won't tell anyone I was seeing, okay? Bye-bye! Miss! This demon's interested in you. Even though I'm the cuter one. Hmm. Hmm. Dormarth. You want me to join you guys? I don't know. Sounds like a lot of drama. Let me have it. So, like, I want 1500 yet. Okay. Well, I guess you're, if you're gonna make a big deal about it, just keep this fun Let's for me. Let's do this. I'm Beast Dormarth, and I'll call you Rinden. I'll totally do my best and stuff. If you choose to make contract with a demon, they will become your ally. In the Summoner menu, demons can be equipped into comps in order to add their power into your own. In equipping a demon, you can u then use that demon's skills. They will also affect the Summoner stats, so equip demons that best fit your for your tactical situations. Cool. And I can give like Ringo's like not the Ringo's the only not the only one that can be able to equip it, right? Let's see here. Use skills, okay. Yep, I can. In DM menu, Ringo and the team can equip demons as allies in battle. By calling on a demonic power, Ringo and the team's battle abilities, such as affinity resistances, will change. They will also be able to use skills known as known by the demons. Depending on the challenges you face, you can change up the line, your lineup of equipped demons for battle. You can also swap demons when you select a demon currently equipped by another party member. Okay. So, let's see here. Uh... Fire and electricity are its weaknesses. Gun and wind are its weaknesses. This one's weak to ice, fire, and electricity. I'm gonna keep uh, Poltergeist and Pixie on them for right now. 
Hey, I wasn't ready yet. You're supposed to wait for me to find a hiding spot first. Oh. Lifestone. Nice. Next time, wait until I say I'm ready. We're gonna start to follow the rules, okay? Oh, so that's how. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, damn. Crustacean spider. Bonus attacks can trigger when you touch an enemy who's been knocked down by a sword strike. Bonus attacks damage all enemies at the start of battle. Nice. New pace here. Okay. Yeah, good plan. The eye of pick and target skill to use. Any weaknesses will be targeted if they are known. You can rely on this feature to not shrink skill to die. Let's stay cautious. <laughs> What's the plan here? Yeah, okay. good plan. You gonna try it out? Here it goes. Most likely it's gonna be going wind. down. With this Either power. that or ice cream. This works. Actually, Might let's try Neo Shot. This. What next? Alright. That might be dangerous, we go. Joke. I know it's uh gets in the way and whatnot just to see my avatar and whatnot, but I prefer to have it up. But if it's gonna get in the way over here, I'll just move right there. How about that? I did it. See, I found what you're looking for, didn't I? Demonor. Aren't you proud of me for remembering? I'm gonna go see what else I can find lying around. Later. Followed your lead. Yeah. And that's this ought to do it. Thunder. Ouch. Nice going with this power. Let him have it. Careful. We Silent don't know how this will go. Like I overlooked that. Ah, both. Out of my way. Okay. to get in the way. <sighs> I need a break from play. I mean, from walking around. You gonna take a break too, miss? There you go. You look a little better now. Okay, time to go play. I mean, time to go scout some more. Later. Isn't the dangerous prince? Oh, don't proceed. If... We're most likely going to come across a boss, so... Let's see. Okay. So everyone's healed and everything? Okay. On through. Right. We can't afford to lose. Let's roll. Hmm. Thunder! Right on target. Great job, Rick. Let me Take see. It away. We can target their weak. Silent as snowfall. Too late for regrets now. Oh, good for her. She's still on the field. We'll take them down. Let's go. I won't stop you, but here goes. That's a hit. Okay, so just stick to the tower. 
this ought to do is you little out of my way. Oh, so it just triggers regardless for attack? Okay. Interesting. Russia! Why am I... That was a joke. When a demon has learned all their skills, they will give you a gift to sign their appreciation. Once their skill set is complete, they'll grow much more slowly and give gifts less often, so it helps pri to prioritize training demons who still have new skills to learn. Okay. Mystiques can be slid into a comp to grant you various effects. To equip a mystique, open the command menu, navigate to a summoner, and select mystique. After which, you can choose a mystique to equip from the list. They primarily obtain as gifts from demons. Different demons provide different mistakes, so try raising. Okay. Alright! Great, right? <laughs> Thanks for everything, miss. Yours, this is a token of our friendship. Make sure you keep it safe. I saw the news. Sure. Whoa. Sick. You're getting stronger. Is this, like, a growth spurt? That's so funny. So both Phantom and Yatagarasu are after this Milady person. But just who the heck is she? It's all you guys talk about. Milady is a devil summoner from the Phantom Society. However, they've marked her as a traitor. And what about you? You must have some reason to protect her, hmm? You gonna tell me? Well, I... Eh, it's fine. I'm sure I'll figure it out sooner or later. Let's keep moving. I can think of a few different reasons. Okay. So you. Now arrow. Got it. Not bad. Let's roll. <laughs> Boom. Out of my way. Time to kick it off. Here we go. Yeah. All right. That was a joke. Ah. <sighs> it's getting light. Who do you think, Run Run? Can we get away with an app? That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Weird. I just feel so relaxed around you and stuff. Bye bye. Probably gonna regret this, but screw it. You sense a dangerous path. No, no, no. Stay off the stage, man! I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this clown. Who's he? Oh my god. 
Yo, they call me Rob Soldier, R to the yes, it ain't hyperbole, cause I can kill on the beat, representing the Phantom Society. <laughs> Is okay. that all you got? I'm just gonna bring you a doctor's note. Legally, I am allergic to that fuck shit. <laughs> 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 Stay cautious. Let's try this. Thought so. All right. I guess that was a good call on my part. Well done, Ringo. Let's go. You know. Don't know to the trap. Reach you where you stand. Nailed it. Nice. Got both of them. Out of my way. All right. So it was good to call in the new one. Rush him. So what? I know we can win this. Okay. Go you. Ooh, that'll work. Take it away. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Here goes. We gotta win this. Mega, no matter what, that truck. Whack. That looks like we it'll work. We can't afford to lose. Fine. That I'll get to see this ought to do it. Got her. Too late for regrets now. Gotta win this. Yeah. Give that a try. Whack. Got her. Nice move. I got this. Whack. Silent as snowfall. Ow. Too late for regrets now. with the kills because they're genuine get what you get when you stop the landmine yeah i'm the payoff and you're the punchline keep that rhythm i can't win think i'll run well think again they're strong be on your guard fine i'll get serious that'd be helpful we're not done yet sorry about that I know we can this power. All you. Here goes. Slick skill for a quick kill. Time to get ill. I'm resting the hope. 
Oh, that wasn't that bad. I won't let anyone. Let's go. Okay. Take it away. Ooh. No way. Freeze you where you stand. Like I overlooked that. Just what I did. Yeah. Good plan. Uh huh. Here goes. Wide open. Too late for regrets now. No matter what. Got me. Kidding? I'm spitting gold bars. And your talk is cheaper. I'm the RS. And I don't fear no Reaper. I'm no Reaper, but I can send you to hell. So face the music, RS, and take the L. Okay, that was actually smooth. Bye, 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 bye. Never thought I'd be the one. Now there's only one this time. I was in the club and you roll up in the song sight, 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 sight. Everybody think they want it, but you better do on your life, life, life. I'ma make you go. Night, night, night. No one better than worry about the green and Oh nice. She went up two levels. So sure. I'm totally stronger now. Oh, but that doesn't mean I'm getting weight, right? Awesome. Thanks. Never thought I'd be having this much fun, Rumi. Really. Thanks for everything. Damn it! He had backup! Ringo! Fig! Ringo, what is this thing? <sighs> it's going into me? You can look if you're looking disrespectfully. I mean, is there any other way? The Covenant's joining with you. Covenant? Then... This was the point of Dr. Onda's message. Okay, dude, keep it in your pants. Never! Fig? Fig? Are you alright? Fig? I'm not detecting any abnormalities at the moment. My chest feels a bit hot, though. How strange. <sighs> so, you're a friend then? That's right. I'm Fig. I'm an agent of Ion, just like Ringo. Pleased to meet you, Arrow. Pleased to meet you, Fig. Are there a lot of your kind out there? There are only two like us. Ringo and I have the unique ability to directly intervene with human affairs. Just to confirm, Fig, are we too late to save Melody through normal means? Yes. By the time I arrived, she was already... Yeesh. Two soul hacks this quick, huh? Who'd have thought? Ringo? You can't mean... Are you going to bring Melody back? Like you did with me? Think about it this way. We know Arrow's death is somehow related to the end of the world. Arrow was trying to protect Melody. But what if we assume the trigger is not Arrow's death, but his failure to complete his mission? I can't authorize this. We don't even know if there were any consequences from the last soul hack. It'll be fine. I think I've got the hang of it. That's not the issue here. This is just to be safe. We need to be thorough, and that means cutting this thing off at every turn. You know, it may be the fact that I just watched Cyberpunk Edge Runners, but why do I get the feeling that I know exactly where this is going to end up? And not only that, but I agreed to help Arrow protect Melody. So that's what I'm going to do. Understood. I'll keep watch. Can I ask you to do the same, Arrow? Uh, right. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Oh. 
systems are go. I do have to admit, like this this inner world around soul hacking. Process complete. It looks very dis. I, I will say that it looks very distinct. Like I mean, like when it comes to fiction, there's a lot of like, I guess similarities to a lot of inner worlds and everything, like. But I can definitely tell, like, in terms of an inner world in terms of soul hacking, like, this looks very distinct, like, if I saw an image of this, I probably wouldn't, uh, mistake it for something out of soul hack, for this being, uh, part of soul hackers, too. This is an unjust world, a false world. Let's destroy it together. So mournful too, just like him. Sure, you're the main squeeze of the man in the mask. But you're endable, expendable, so hope you brought a casket. Ooh, zip, talk about a fall. Our rest has got you, but you're back against the wall. Okay, those first two bars didn't even rhyme, bitch. I'm gonna spoon your fucking eyes out if I see you do that again. <laughs> I know who that's voiced by. <sighs> A lot easier the second time around. And you are? Relax, lady. You don't have to glare like that. My name's Rango. I'm an agent of Ion. I'm a super intelligent being born from the Sea of Information, and I'm here to stop the apocalypse. And what does this super intelligent being want with a dead woman? Well, Melody, how about I show you? Just come with me, and we'll go back. I'm dead, you simpleton. There's no going back. Why are you even here anyway? I'm gonna save the world. That's more than the world deserves. Okay, guess it's gonna take a little more than that. So that's it. This is where you die, and you're okay with that? Because it sounded to me like you had something you still needed to do. You were running away. You wanted to survive. So take my hand, Melody. And you can survive. You'll get one more chance to make things right.
She's back. I guess it's true. Ion really is something else. So I guess we're fighting her now. Although, do, is she even capable of fighting outside of using size? I'm pretty sure from last time, from what it said. Yeah, pretty much uh, Ringo has control over devil, devils. So, Ion is a non-human being born from a bunch of information, and you're like a splinter of it. That much I get. That also explains how I'm back from the dead. What I don't understand is why you're here. Wait, Melody! We're not with Phantom. We're here to protect you. Hmm? What are you talking about? Right, so, uh... I'm actually with Yadagarasu. My being with Phantom was all an act. These two here are helping me with my mission. Yadagarasu? Then you're still my enemy. Only if you're still a summoner for Phantom. They're after you too, aren't they? Doesn't seem like either of us is in the best spot. <sighs> Could you even go back to the Phantom Society at this point, Melody? I think it'd be kind of hard. Tch, what's your point? I'm saying we can help you. And it's not like we're asking you to spill your soul, so why not hear what we have to say? If your only concern is what you'll get out of it, that's fine. Even if you decide to act alone, a little more info couldn't hurt, right? <sighs> I suppose I'll take you up on your offer. For now. Then, it looks like Melody's safe and sound. Sure took a lot of effort, though. Now then, we'll want to go over everything we've learned so far. That should help us get a better understanding of the situation. There's still way too much we don't know. Like about covenants and how you two factor into all of this. For now, we should get out of here. This place is dangerous. Where should we go? If you need a place, I've got a safe house I've been using. We should be free to talk there. <sighs> Thank you, Arrow. Let's hurry then. Once you've discovered social waypoints for those portals, you'll be able to instantly teleport between portals in the same dungeon. They can make long dungeon treks much more efficient, so keep them out. Yep. A few other JRPGs I've played also have this. Oh, wow. Uh, let's go here. Covenant that appeared from Melody Melody's colors was unexpectedly absorbed into Fig. After resurrecting the caustic Melody, uh, I guess just cut me off, okay? I guess I, I see how it is. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. I like the beat here. you like it. Fig, Millie, feel free to make yourselves at home, too. Thank you for everything, Arrow. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. Arrow, you were trying to save Millie because of that light form thing, right? Yes, there's no point in hiding it now, is there? Yeah, that's right. The Covenant came out of Millie and then went into me. <sighs> of course. It's because I died. I get that these Covenant things are important somehow, but I'm only just now starting to wrap my head around it. Can you tell me more about them? You two are Devil Summoners, after all. <laughs> Alright. 
Well, it's called Covenant, so... Uh... Covenants are like a big source of energy. And they've been passed down from soul to soul for generations. Supposedly, these Covenant holders wield great power. What kind of power? Well, simply put, possessing a Covenant awakens the holder's latent abilities. In some cases, it can even spark... Well, they say there's a total of nope. five Covenants out there. Having one as powerful as it is, but the effects would only go as far as the individual could take them. Now, if someone were to possess all five, then that'd be something else entirely. Gather up all five Covenants, and you could... You could what? You could call forth what's known as the Great One. A being prophesied to bring ultimate destruction to the world as we know it. That's what they say, at least. Summoning this Great One is Phantom's top priority. Am I right, Melody? Please. You don't really need me to confirm that, do you, Mr. Double Agent? If the Holder dies, the Covenant gets passed on to someone else. As a result, there's almost always some sort of conflict surrounding them. What a surprise. I see now. So when Melody died, the Covenant found a new owner in Fig. These Covenants and this world-ending Great One you mentioned. I believe these may be the seeds that make Ion's prediction come true. Uh, the origin of Covenant mean is a meaning of coming together. It proposes two or more parties who come together to make a contract, agreeing on promises, stipulations, privileges, and responsibilities. And the word Covenant also is a word that's usually depicted in religion, specifically the Bible. The meaning there, in the sense you can kind of wrap your head around if you f figure that out. Aside from the explanation that they're, they've been giving, also has some more underlying intent, considering the fact that this game is around uh, preventing the apocalypse as well. Yeah. Gotta be. Considering we're trying to stop the end of the world, the Phantom Society is shaping up to be a pretty big obstacle. Agreed. And now that we know their intentions, we must protect this covenant inside of me at all costs. That's going to be a problem for me. Forget it, Melody. Our summoning abilities are... changed. We don't have control over our demons. Ringo does. We think it might be due to the soul hack. Excuse me? No one... Don't look at me. Oh, shit. Excuse me? No one told me about this. There we go. I could add two points to arrow, or I could... Tell you what, I'll just do this. Bounce it out a little. You can still summon through me, however. Do you think you can make do with that? I'd rather you just give me my summoning abilities back along with my covenant. Can you do that? Mm, not right away, no. You owe me for bringing you back to life. Just think of this as a little collateral for the time being. Well, it's not a terribly good deal for me, is it? way I see it, I'm basically your slave. You don't mince words. I like that. Still, I'm afraid I can't back down that easily. What exactly is the Covenant to you, Melody? I don't think I need to explain why the Phantom Society needs summoners, do I? Right. So you're after the end of the world too, huh? <laughs> hey, Ringo. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. What's up? Ion aren't human, right? So why was the Covenant passed on to Fig? What are you, really? We agents of Ion are highly intelligent beings born from a sea of information. By installing an ego into a simulated human body, the foundation is laid for a soul to develop alongside it. So a machine can have a soul? Is that so strange? Your bodies are practically machines too. Albeit fleshy ones. Even for our kind, there is still a lot about the soul that remains unknown. Like where they come from, or what they truly are. We're no experts either. But the self-evident truth is, should one accurately recreate a human body and provide it with a means of control, then a soul will naturally take root. In other words, it's not just this mechanical shell, or rather, this body at play. It's a complex chain of different physiological reactions that shape the soul. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. Okay. Then we're supercomputers trapped inside grandfather clocks. In even plainer terms, 
Our origins may be different, but we are more or less the same as humans. The trade-off is, in this form we can't operate at Ion's full power, nor do we have access to massive amounts of data like we used to. Ah, oh, I see. I guess that's why they said this form was the most ideal for our mission. Can't really soul hack if you don't have a soul yourself, can you? Oh, that's right, Ringo. I meant to tell you earlier, but I've made a new discovery. It's about Target Alpha, Ichiro Onda. If I remember right, that's the famous computer engineer. What about him? Fig was acting separately from me at the time. She was trying to protect Onda just as I was trying to protect you, Arrow. The mission was a failure, but I managed to restore the surveillance camera footage. I found a video of what happened in the 24th Ward Municipal Town. And? He was killed by someone named Iron Mask. Did you say Iron Mask? The leader of Project C finally makes his move. It was him. So, you know him. Or well, I guess you would, seeing as you two are together. You are? He called himself Iron Mask. Are you absolutely certain? Let's take a look at the footage. Output in video. Yeah, there's no way uh, the developers would ever get this, but... Uh... Yeah, maybe Iron Mask sounds terrifying or threatening and whatnot, but to me it just sounds funny due to uh, another playthrough I did. in the Iron Mask. Impressive. I can't imagine how many security measures were in your way. You're no mere trespasser. Ichiro Onda, I presume. The greatest computer engineer of our time. It's a pleasure. And you are... I am the leader of Project C. You may call me Iron Mask. <laughs> a bit on the nose. Was Black Suit taken? Or are you a prisoner broken free? I think well, it's fine. You're welcome to celebrate with Yeah, me, that Mask voice. Man. That's so uh, J. Michael Tatum. Flower. It's complete. A system to shatter the status quo with a perfect name to shake the very foundation of Academia. The Omni System. Glorious, isn't it? Can't you feel its power? But now it's finished and I'm done with it. If you're a thief, then go ahead and take it. You've designed a masterpiece, Doctor. The Omni System will uplift mankind to new heights. Alas, I'm afraid your part in our grand pageant ends here. We want something quite different from you. I should have known. If you don't want my creation, then you must be after me. Well, what dwells within me? You want the Covenant. Ah, you're already aware. Ed, he's standing next to an edge. You do know I'm a genius. <laughs> Say, masked man, one last tip. Call it a parting gift from a genius. Yep. No one can control the future. Iron Mask. Was not expecting the impalement, but we got there. At least I have a future. Ah! 
I'm just imagining what would <laughs> just replacing that with the fucking Goodbye, chicken call. <laughs> oh god, that's fucked up, but I love it. <laughs> just eating it is like tastes like chicken. <laughs> So that's it. Ichiro Ando was a covenant holder too. And they got a good look at Iron Mask. Plus, whatever that freaky, murdery guy was. The guy that tore out Ando's covenant, you mean? Strength like that definitely isn't human. Maybe it's some new species of bear or something? Melody, you were on Iron Mask's team. Know anything about that? Not really. All I know is he called that thing Zenin. He also referred to it as a vessel for the Covenants. A vessel for the Covenants, huh? It seems he lacked the power to fend off their attack. Say, Milady, if you and Iron Mask are an item, why is he after you? <laughs> Ringo, what would you say to working together? You help me meet with Iron Mask. Wait, 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 hold on, go back. Say, Milady, if you and Iron Mask are an item, why is he after you? Not really. All I know is he called that thing Zenin. He also referred to it as a vessel for the Covenants. Say, Milady, if you and Iron Mask are an item, why is he after you? Not really. All I know is he called that thing Zenin. He also referred to it as a vessel for the Covenants. The guy that tore out Anda's Covenant, you mean? So that's it. Ichiro Anda was a Covenant holder too. How the fuck did I piece this together? An arrow still on page, like, one. The dude does not give a fuck about Melody. Not in the slightest. He just wants her covenant. How did I piece that together more than this dude? What the fuck? This dude has a fucking humanoid monster or whatever to taking as many covenants as he wants, and he's stealing them from people. He had Melody killed so that her covenant would seep out of her body, and that's so he could take it. Use it for his own benefit. And... What does he say? Say, Melody, if you and Iron Mask are an item, why is he after you? Dude, you, you, Errol, you are about as dead as a box of rocks, all right? <laughs> What's in it for me? I'll help you prevent this end of the world or whatever you've been going on about. And I'll give you all of the Covenant Holders' names. Deal? You sure? I thought you wanted the world to end. Some things take priority. All right then, Melody. It's a deal. Rather quick to trust, aren't you? Not at all. But we both benefit from this. And for now, that's all I need. Speaking of which, I'm hoping we can count you in too, Arrow. Sure. It's not like I don't have stakes in this. All right, then. It's settled. Let's all just try to get along from here on out. <sighs> what did I just say? You call that getting along? Arrow, did you do something to her? No. At least... I don't think so. Oh, really? Yatagarasu never did anything to interfere with the Phantom Society's plans? Well, that's nothing new. Phantom and Yatagarasu have been at each other's throats for forever. I hate it when humans act like this. Hey, Melody, maybe try to look at Arrow as his own person, rather than as a member of Yatagarasu. I suppose I can do that. On to the main topic. Melody, if you could go over the Covenant Holders for us. Right. These are the five people the Phantom Society had marked as Covenant Holders. First is Iron Mask, leader of the Covenant Recovery Project, or Project C. He's a Covenant Holder as well. The Covenant Recovery Project. How is the Phantom Society able to identify these individuals? A Covenant Holder can detect another simply by looking at them. A quick glance in their direction is all it takes. Coupling that with the organization's power, the Phantom Society has been able to identify Covenant Holders for a long time. Up next, we have Ichiro Onda, our late computer engineer. He held a Covenant, but had no summoning ability. 
Going off the security footage we just saw, his covenant is currently being held by that man, Zenon. All right, so I'm not an expert, but I'm going to assume that more or less this is going down the list of bosses we're going to have to face against from endpoint to the recent one. This means Iron Mask is in possession of at least two covenants at this time. The third covenant holder is a devil summoner, Mangetsu Kuzunoha. I imagine a certain someone here knows a lot more about him than I do, though. He's one of Yadagarasu's top devil summoners. And one of the key players in protecting this country. There you have it. The fourth is a man named Saizo, who operates out of Karakacho. He's a freelance summoner who's had dealings with both Yatagarasu and the Phantom Society. And lastly, our fifth covenant holder was me. Though that's clearly not the case anymore. Okay, so... Considering RPG logic, most likely we're going to be going against Iron Mask and his subordinate last. We're probably going to have to go again, go to Saizo next. Am I correct in calling this? That's the one I currently have. So many of them have switched owners in such a short time. It's kind of hard to follow. Hang on a sec. Does that mean Iron Mask was targeting those two Covenant holders at once? If that's true, then the others could be in danger too. Milady. Any idea where Saizo might be? Called it! Word is, he's typically hanging around Bar Hydran about this time. It's over on Jinsando Street. Then that's where we gotta go. You coming, Faye? I'll wait here for everyone. If worse comes to worst, we can't allow our enemies to obtain any more covenants. All things considered, this, from the way the story's playing out, kinda seems like a relatively short game, honestly. That said, you'll need an operator of sorts to appraise the situation. So allow me to play that role from the back end. Roger. We'll let you handle things here then. Safe house team is a base of operations. You can select rest from the menu. The party will fully recover MP and HP. Also, certain downloadable content items can be collected at the safe house. Select DLC in the menu to claim any items you downloaded. However, keep in mind that attempting to receive any items over your maximum limit will result in extra items being discarded. No available DLC. Cool. Alright. Um. There. Yeah, pretty much I think that's gonna do it. This is a good enough place to stop. Yeah. But yeah, pretty much uh, that is gonna be it. Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, jokes aside, completely 100% serious, I kinda like where this is going. I mean, granted, I don't know where it's going, all things considered. I know maybe bits and pieces here and there, but... I Honestly, I'm kind of interested to see what this has to tell and where this goes, and I'm kind of interested in what happens to the characters and everything. All things considered, I honestly kind of like the game. I don't know if that's going to change down the line. I don't know if I'm not going to enjoy it later down the line. I don't know if this is going to be my favorite game, even. But I kind of like it. I like the gameplay. I like the story so far. It's... Ultimately, it's a pretty good time. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think that's gonna do it. And again, I don't intend to make this a full on let's play or anything. This is mainly just kind of a first impression. And honestly, for a first impression, it's not that bad. I could imagine there are other things I could criticize. I mean, okay, if I had to take one criticism point, the soul point aspect, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that you can definitely see, depending on dialogue option, who gets what soul points and whatnot. Personally, I would have been more interested if I wasn't able to see that and just had to go with player ch and just it more geared on player choice. Cause yeah, cause that that definitely seems like uh, an option to actually uh, get a little more creative with player choice and whatnot. Like, depending on your choice, this character and that character can actually uh, get more soul points or whatnot. It actually, like, if they went about not showing it, it could actually uh, 
Uh, I could actually think I would enjoy that aspect of the dialogue options a lot more. But that said, for an Atlas game, I do like that the dialogue options are voiced and that, depending on what you choose, Ringo actually has full dialogue. You know, I again, I know I'm like... I, I know I'm kind of just gearing more towards Persona right now, but that's more of a criticism against Persona than it is towards uh, Soul Hackers 2. But that said, I definitely do like uh, Soul Hackers 2 as its own game. I do think it's good so far. It might be a little predictable here and there, but I don't know. I kind of like where this is going, and honestly, I'm more excited to see where this goes. But I'll have to check it out on my own time. But until then, I hope you all take care. Peace.